Hi, it's John Glynn. I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements 20 and, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the, the Move tool, which is in the toolbox on the left-hand side and looks like a four-way arrow with a funny little graphic in it pointing to the right. Now, if I put my mouse over the top and click once with the left mouse key, it should come up with Move tool. There is a shortcut V in the, if you're wanting to get to it through the shortcut keys. Um, the move tool, if I put my mouse over the top of my photograph, you can see that I get a four-way arrow and a uh, little graphic to give you an idea that we are in the same tool as in the toolbox. Uh, and if I try to use it right now, it doesn't do anything and it actually says this operation could not be performed. Okay, cancel that. And that's because if you go to the right-hand side of my monitor, there is a layers panel. We've got panels on the right. This is the layers panel. I've got one layer. It's called the background layer and it's locked. There's a little lock on it so it cannot move. So at this stage the move tool doesn't actually move the background picture. Okay if I try to move it let go of the left mouse key I'm using a PC um, it won't let me do anything with the picture. I can unlock the background key it's unusual or the background picture we can unlock it it's unusual to do that but I'll, I'll show you uh, in a little bit what will happen if I do that but before I do that I've actually got other pictures because it, um, in my tool in my photo um, in the photo bin and the reason I got them there is because once you put pictures onto pictures you can move them so my move tool will allow me to drag a picture onto another picture and you can then see that it automatically in the layers panel will create its own layer so i've got now the background picture that was always there with its lock and above that is another picture which you can see in front of you that will now move because i'm on the move tool so that picture can move around okay but the background picture is still locked so i can't move the background but I can move the top picture and I can put another picture on it I've got another picture here if I drag that one up let's go back drag this one up and again here we have three layers now this picture here is bigger than the layer underneath so you'll see if I drag them you'll now see three layers there's my top picture, my middle picture and the background picture on the far right hand side. Okay and if I click on them on the layers I can move them around individually. There we have it. The background layer though at the very back there is still locked and cannot be moved. Within the move tool, if I go back to my move tool, I have options in the bottom of what I can do with these layers. I have auto select layer. As I move my mouse over the layers you'll notice that there's a blue uh, line that goes around the layer I've chosen. Now the top layer doesn't get a blue line because I can see it and it's already selected. It's got a little dotted line around it and anchor points. Okay so it is already selected so it's not going to uh, that doesn't need a a blue line going around it but the one below does have a blue line and it's automatically selecting that layer so if I click it with the left mouse key it now picks that layer up and allows me to move it around independently of any other layer and I can resize it because I have a there we have a, um, a marquee around it so it lets me resize it and I can go back once I'm happy with that I just say okay and I can go back to my other layer, the top layer, and you'll see that now there's a blue box around that one. So it's automatically picked it up. And I can resize that. Now if you have lots and lots of layers, the computer can get confused and may not automatically pick them up. So if I go back into my move tool, I'll apply, you have to apply all of this. 
You'll notice that it's got the auto select layer and that's what it's doing. See as I move my mouse over the top of another layer it gives me a bounded box, it recognises it and it will go fine, good. Now I'll jump to that one by just clicking it once with the left mouse key it jumps to that layer. Go back to the top layer, click it once with the left mouse key and it's picked it up automatically in my layers palette. Okay, you can see it doing it. Otherwise I'd have to click on them independently. Okay, the background uh, is just the background and I'd have to click on that manually. It's not unlocked. So if I turn off auto select layer, you'll notice there's no bounding box around any of them now. So if I click on a layer, it will pick it up and gives me a dotted line. But I don't it won't automatically find any other layer. So if you're finding that you have lots of layers in your layers panel and they're getting confused because as you move your mouse over it jumps between them, then turn off auto select layer and do it manually by clicking on the layer you specifically want to select, not allowing the computer to decide for you. Okay, I'll leave it on again. Bounding box. The bounding box is that little white line that appears around the picture with the little anchor points. Allows you to resize and when you do that you'll notice it comes up with another set of options for rotating your picture things like that. You can do lots of things with your picture. It gives you other choices. Okay, To go back to your select tool, uh, or your move tool rather, you go OK to whatever you've done, go back to your move tool, click on it, and you get your move tool options reappear, reappearing. And I can move that picture around yet again. Okay, But if you turn off the bounding box, you do not see the size. There's nothing there and it won't let you resize without the bounding box. It doesn't let you make any changes to the angle of your picture without the bounding box. So if you want to make changes you must make sure that the bounding box is selected and now I can resize the picture and I can also change the angle of the picture because I have the bounding box. Go back to my say OK to whatever you do before you do anything else then go back to your move tool and you can move your picture around but if you turn off that bounding box you can't make any further adjustments to that specific picture in that layer okay and it doesn't automatically come on with the other layer you'd have to turn it on if you want to see the bounding boxes okay so you got auto select layer where it will see whether or not you automatically pick up a layer it gives you a blue box or blue bounding area selecting a layer and you've also got show bounding box which is that dotted white line and on top of that you have show highlight on rollover as you'll see it becomes active if I turn these off so it's not showing the highlight on rollover that blue bar that appears around my picture is not shown. Okay, so you can turn on and off ways of viewing the information that the computer is seeing. I tend to leave them all on, however um, if I do have lots of layers I will turn off the auto select layer and do it manually. I do like to see a bounding box and the rollover just makes it easier for me to know what the computer is actually picking up and allows me to make adjustments accordingly. Okay. The other thing that you have in your move tool area or options at the bottom here is the ways that these layers work within between them. You can move the layers up and down. They're not fixed. So this layer, I'll go to the very top layer. I'll click on it just so it's active. You can see I've clicked on it, it's active. If I then go to my range options in the bottom of the photo area here, I can send backwards and there you can see it goes back behind the other pictures. If I click on it again, bring forward, note what's happening within the layers panel. 
it's jumping up and down bring to front sent backward it, it jumps between the pictures so it's moving backwards and forwards between these two set of photographs okay and I can send to back or bring to front okay and I could click on this one and I can bring that to front bring to front okay so you can move them up and down by using a range however you can just as quickly drag them and very often it's quicker to drag than do anything else and so by clicking on a layer with the left mouse key holding the layer down with your left mouse key dragging it down and you see that it kind of opens up a wee gap between the two layers let go and I can move the layers backwards and forwards between them and that's quicker I find than going all the way down and I'm doing this arrange lock it's just another way of doing it though background layer as I said is locked so I can turn off these two layers you know there's a little magic eye if I turn them off then those pictures will vanish from the monitor for me to view but they're still there if I ever want to bring them back I can unlock the background layer and I can turn it into layer zero that layer now can be moved but behind the layer is a checkerboard which means that it's transparent you can see that I've got checkerboard with the other ones because it allows me to see through to the layer below there isn't anything behind this layer so um, it just sees nothing at all so generally speaking the background layer we leave locked but because I now have other layers I can move this if I wanted to okay this once you unlock it and it becomes layer zero in this case I can move it around okay so they're not fixed all the time but uh, usually it is but it can be moved and if I turn them on this layer now is at the top and it takes up the whole area so I can't see the pictures below but as I drag them down you'll notice that the pictures will reappear okay because remember we're looking down through the layers from top to bottom and the checkerboard is transparent and allows me to see the picture below okay so the move tool is only active when you have other layers or text or other things to move around on top of a locked layer which is your background layer if you unlock your background layer by double clicking it and giving it a name or just layer zero then you can move that bottom layer uh, with the move tool okay so it's just a matter of of deciding what you're going to do with your bottom layer whether you're going to leave it locked or not and what you're going to do with your other layers above so have a go with just turning on the options within the move tool the selection auto select layer bounding boxes highlight rollover you can see the differences just do one at a time turn them on and off just get an idea of what they're actually doing and just understand moving layers between layers just so that you can get an idea of how they move up and down between them and also if you wish to you can do it through the range option as well and just see how that works okay hopefully that helps to explain the move tool a little bit and uh, and what options you can get with your bounding box as well um, which is very useful for resizing and turning and if you wish to to even distort your photos okay thank you for watching